Welcome to the Services with KNX presentation. My name is Karsten. I'm working at the marketing department. Um, by following this session today, you will understand how KNX is adapting to the new needs of the customers and the industry, and why professionals they need to expand their services in order to offer additional services with KNX to their customers. Why services with KNX? To answer this question, we first need to, to look back in order to understand the reasons that move us to bring such innovation of services with KNX to the market today. We could wait and see, but services with KNX is today already a reality. I still recall uh, when professionals they work on silos and trying to understand these individual silos was very difficult. At that time, a project in a smart home or building in which different applications had communication among them, it was simply impossible. The industry has not was not offering the necessary equipment and moreover professional professionals had really tough time in creating a comprehensive approach that actually served the needs of their customers instead professionals they work on projects to find short-term solutions but unfortunately the solutions did not really consider key points that today are basic concepts like for instance projects that have and lack of interoperability. Different applications were not commissioned together and are required to create individual projects for different applications. Sometimes this even needed to be hired by different contractors in order to have these applications. Professionals were quite limited in ideas to bring to their projects. And it, it was always controlled with the same kind of applications, like very basic applications, like for instance, uh, lighting control was very much used. The collection of the big data did not exist. And today it might sound astonishing, but the collection of information wasn't really planned some time ago. And of course, sustainability was never considered. But today we can say we live in a nice environment and there was a nice evolution. New technologies, they were born, like for instance, KNX 30 years ago already, to help grow in the market and the industry for a better future of the, the sector of uh, home and buildings. The growth of, over the last 30 years has brought some key features that will set the basis for the future of our industry as well. So today, interoperability is a fact. Technologies and brands need to, to interwork together. Closed systems are not really well accepted anymore. Today, any new application that appears on the market, they will quickly add up to, to be integrated into any system. So there is no limit anymore in basic applications so there are new applications coming up or already on the market like for instance um charging stations of uh, electrical vehicles the storage of energy in homes these are possibilities already today and today professionals they put more focus on the data as ever before and the collection of data is really always considered today. And how it will look like the smart home and building industry of tomorrow. There are some new trends that are setting a new scenario already today and they come to stay. We must understand now how the future of our industry will look like. Technology will not be a barrier anymore. Technology will be considered from the very first step of the uh, of the designing phase when an architect is actually already starting with that like for instance it happens 
in the automobile industry. Customers needed to decide before, sometime, some years ago, whether they wanted to have either manual windows or power windows. Today, that is not an option anymore. Today, any car comes with power windows. Smart homes, small buildings, they will incorporate technology in the future in this same way. Thanks to the collection of data, advanced AI, machine and deep learning will be a natural part of our industry as well. This will help in the analytics and evaluation of systems to be able to forecast when maintenance, for instance, are, are due. Or even farther than that, when a downtime will occur, imagine that we can forecast that. It's easy to then act on it before that will happen. And of course, there are a couple of points like self-adaptation of home and buildings will be the right path to go. But only when the, all the aspects of a project are perfectly considered by the professionals. Since ever and ever, we have been looking for buildings to come more efficient. And for this to happen, we uh, self-adaptation is a must. Otherwise, it will never happen. And of course, we need to talk also, and we need to explain that the, about the security. And that security will not be an issue anymore. But I will talk about this specific point in a few minutes. The future landscape it looks really amazing. This will definitely bring new opportunities to the professional and to the industry. As the president of Canex, he said a few times already in his presentations and when he attend conferences, he always said, says three aspects. The future is digitalization. The communication is moving to IP base and the communication must be cyber secure. Let's see what he means with that. In general, and not only in our industry, the world move, moves to digital. And today everybody talks about digitalization. We, Canex, first started developing Canex IoT. That means that we expand the possibilities of Canex being able to, to have direct communication via IP. So that means that we lower the barriers to communicate in this world. In addition, to we still keep, in addition to this, we still keep other transmission media. Of course, that we will never change it. So that it will be easier to connect the different worlds of CanX using different transmission media, as well as outside CanX via IP with any other interconnected or connected device. Secondly, CanX IoT is the natural, natural evolution of CanX. And we would like to define, to define it as an upward compatible extension to the current system, to the current CanX system, to a new world of possibilities. CanX installation can be more easily interact with devices and systems that are not CanX. There is also possibility of easier commissioning when not even self-commissioning of devices with only one commissioning tool. Okay, next we use ETS. And the standardized IT communication language, what people they call today semantics. This will simplify the communication between the devices coming from different worlds. And on top of that, the security. Or better, in this context, the cyber security in the communication is guaranteed thanks to the great efforts that has been taken in the recent years by CanX Association and its members as well. When using the CanX technology, cybersecurity will be implicit to it. There is no doubt about it. Already today, all the CanX members have embraced it very much and they are working hard to adapt their developments 
based on the latest security standards defined by Kinex. With this in mind, we reach the key point of services with Kinex. And thanks to the introduction of services with Kinex, we don't need to think in individual devices anymore. Now, we expand this to a wider package solution so that technology in smart homes and, bu are, and buildings are more about the overall system. This covers services provided in addition to the connected devices themselves. Users want to benefit of the service without having to master the technical details of the co configuration of devices. That is why the next smart home frontier will be the perfect scenario for services with Kinex. To apply this to Kinex, you can say to some extent that services with Kinex increase functionality of devices as now devices will be working according to their configuration or to their new configuration. And at the same time, as the very same devices will be able to collect and send information to operators, third party providers, for instance, to make sure the services in place will work without any problem. Having said this, professionals can still be doing the same work as they used to do. In a, and in addition, they can offer more opportunities to their customers because any service customers want to have are services installed by the Kinex professionals, which can be managed and provided by the same professionals if they have the infrastructure to do that, or it could be subcontracted to third-party service providers. In short, Kinex lay down the perfect real and digital infrastructure. And the Kinex members, they put their devices at the disposal of the professionals for the customer's needs, so that all is set to bring benefits to customers. Do you imagine, for instance, for your customers, they will pay what they have to pay, for instance, a service that enables the best price of supplies of re on real time. Example given, why having electricity contracts with the same energy provider when your system can help jumping, jumping from one system, from one contract to another? on real time, according to the best price for your customer. I'm not sure when, soon or, or later, but cloud services, they also will belong to the past and the future will be digital ecosystems or web-like connections between different actors of the industry of home and buildings, like example, are the, the users the contractors, providers, professionals. They will all share a digital platform to enable more dynamic connections and trades on real time. There will be no need of permanent subscriptions anymore. Real time changes will happen seamlessly. Um, services will forecast refilling of fuel, for instance, in another example, of your car at the best time possible to warranty also that is convenient for you in terms of time and also on the best price ever possible. So it can be configured that your system will inform you and your electric car when is the right time to go to the gas station to, or well, not the gas station at that time, but it will be the station to charge your car at the time that you have the time when it's best for you and not now you're in it and now you have to stop your car. Could it be maybe when you're at the office? It could it be maybe when you are at home? These are some examples. But don't believe, don't believe they belong to the future. Services with Kinex are already possible. Today. The solutions showing that the professionals are showing now are services with Kinex for healthcare, services for security, services with Kinex for remote data transfer and operation, 
And of course, the most important of all, energy and charging management with KNX. A very special service in which no fossil energy sources come from come to supply energy to homes anymore, but it's used by renewable energies. Thank you very much for your attention.